well wind of a game, but shame not to get all three points. But credit in the shootout to the lads. Um, and Gene in goal, obviously great save, and he always says just sort of give us one, and thankfully he pulled it off, and everyone else converted. So got to take the positives, but frustrated not to get the full three points. Of course, uh, you started the game on the bench today, but of course, club captain, you've got a lot of influence on the sideline and of course on the pitch as well, even if you're not there. What were your thoughts uh, watching the first half? What were you seeing? Yeah, I mean, it's one of those where you just obviously want the want the lads to do well who are playing, and we've got ability right throughout the team. Um, yeah, from a personal standpoint, it's just one of those where you have to try and make an impact when you get the opportunity, and thankfully was able to do that to a certain extent. Um, First half, I thought we sort of eased into the game, a bit of a, a free goal for them to, to get ahead, but I thought second half we did well to, to get back into the game. Speaking of getting back into the game, what, went ha what happened at halftime in the second half? Obviously, you were told to go into the game, but what was being said amongst the team and through coach? Yeah, it's one of those where, I mean, we get some, we get some video stuff at halftime just to make a, a few changes tactically. Um, but nothing too much said. Lads know what they, what they need to do. And I think we were just a little bit shocked from the first half, maybe. And the early goal didn't help. But I think we had enough grit and uh, enough resilience in the locker room to, to come out second half and, and sort of get on the front foot straight away and thankfully put us in a good position to, to get back in the game. You said changes, and changes were most certainly made. You got subbed in right at the beginning of the second half and immediately made an impact. You assisted the first goal that Milo scored. What was uh, your thought process, you know, playing that ball through and just uh, your mindset trying to become a game changer in, in the game? Yeah, I mean, I suppose the positive from coming off the bench, I've got plenty of energy because um, I've not played the first 45 minutes. So that's, that's all you can do, come on and try and sort of kickstart everything, make an impact. And thankfully, uh, Jesus played a pretty simple ball into the box and we work on this type of stuff all the time so I sort of heard Milo just asking for the ball and then just a little cut back and thankfully he was there and a good finish to slot at home so yeah a lot of momentum kept carrying on what was going through uh, the head of the players on the pitch when uh, the red card happened to the Atlanta United coach <laughs> I mean something like that on the sideline doesn't really impact you too much so yeah, it's one of those where it doesn't really affect you that much, but I mean, you just have to stay focused on what's happening on the field. Obviously, if the red card's on the pitch, it changes numerically, but with the, with the sideline, it doesn't really have too much of a, an impact on us. The momentum kept on going throughout the second half. It felt like CFC was really on top throughout the entirety of it, and you ended up getting uh, the assist on what was thought to be the game-winning goal. Just take me through that set piece there. Yeah, again, another thing that we work on, and uh, I said to Chewie, actually, he made the cross a lot better than what I thought it was, And but we, we work on that week in, week out, and it's nice to, to see those set pieces finally coming off again. It's been a little bit of time since we've had success with that, but we've we've stuck at it, and I thought it was a great great header from Jesus, and like I said, he made it probably into a slightly better cross than what it was, but at least we have lads in the position where they need to be to, to create those chances. While there were highs in the matchup, there were also lows. There was the Miss PK. That we can. No, we can talk about it. <laughs> talk yeah. about the, the Miss PK. Though. Yeah, it's just one of those where obviously you practice again, you practice week in, week out. And for me, it's something I can always keep improving on, like any part of your game. And it's, it's one of those where frustrating, obviously, to win the penalty as well and give us a chance to, to take the lead and keep carrying that momentum. I sort of. It's always frustrating. I mean, you feel like you're letting the team down a little bit, but it was nice to make amends in a way after that. Um, but that's part and parcel of football. Sometimes it can't always be perfect as much as you wanted, but I think keep giving yourself the best chance and hopefully eventually things even themselves out. On the other side of things, conceding that late PK, how does that change your mindset of, oh, we were getting three points in two, all right, now we have to fight for two? Yeah, it's, it's tough. I mean... It's one of those where it's just, again, it can, the game can change pretty quickly. and uh, It's just a tough time in the game. I mean, you're trying to see out that last, last, last five minutes so you can take all three points, especially at home. I mean, we want to be doing that as much as possible, but it just is what it is, and everyone has to stick together. And Like, I made a mistake at, at one end. 
someone else has got my back and it's the same with lads making mistakes defensively we have to stick together as a unit and that's what football's about and obviously if someone's slightly off or someone makes a mistake it's down to the whole team to, to bring them back up and I think we, we saw that with the shootout as well like the lads taking the penalty and then Gene in goal I think everyone sort of played the, well, played the part in, in getting the extra point and as the season goes on yeah you want those wins to to obviously be a lot higher than the, the ties and definitely the losses but it's, it is a, a strange thing in this league where you do get the two points so at the end of the season they're going to add up so the more shootouts we can win ideally we don't want too many shootouts we just want the three points but the fact that the lads got it done there and we got that extra two points it, it still feels like more of a victory than it would if we'd, if we'd lost in that shootout. Speaking of playing the part, over 4,000 Chattahooligans mm -hmm. showed up tonight. How did they uh, help you guys? Oh, it's, it's always fantastic um, just to see that many people come out and support the, the local team. And yeah, no matter what, it's always a big help for us on the field. I mean, it's, it's different sometimes when you go and play away at different places. You obviously miss the atmosphere here. So any, any opportunity we get, it, it makes a massive difference. And thankfully, good to stay unbeaten at home. And keep pushing that forward and hopefully stay unbeaten for the rest of the season, especially at home when we have people who pay, pay the hard-earned money to come and watch us play football. And it's, yeah, it's fantastic as a player. You, this is why you play the game and you want to play in front of as many people as possible and to have that amount of fans consistently. It's a credit to not just CFC, but Chattanooga as a community. That's it. And is there anything that we didn't talk about that you think it's important to add? No, I think it's just good resilience and still early in the season and yeah, we're in a, a good position, but we still feel like we've got a lot more to give. Um, but yeah, we're, we're working week in, week out to, to be the best team we can and ultimately to be ready for whatever is going to happen at the end of the season. So if we can keep progressing week by week, yeah, there's going to be ups and downs now and again. But if we can just limit limit those downs a little bit and keep building the chemistry as a team, I think we'll be, we'll be going in the right direction.